Nation News. I'm T.O. here, here with Dimitri and Terrence. And now to our show. Last night there was a game between the Charlotte Bobcats and the Chicago Bulls, which is a very tough matchup. Your thoughts, Dimitri? I mean, Chicago and Charlotte was a good game. Chicago controlled most of the game, but Charlotte at the same time could have won the game based on the way they were scoring. I mean, Michael Jordan has a good team this season, and his team could possibly go into the playoffs. If they stay focused and win from here on out, their possibilities of the playoffs are endless. So that's all my thoughts. What's your thoughts, Tito? Like you said, um, Chicago, not Chicago, but Charlotte is pretty much the underdog team in this matchup. They played hard, they executed, but they just came up a little short. But it's such a, they're such a young team. They have a lot of young players, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Campbell Walker. And they're in the rebuilding stage, which is very troubling in the league right now. So they're trying to get some wins together and pop a good season. They're already better than last season. Last season they won seven games. The worst winning percentage in history. So pretty much all that matters is that they're improving every year. All right, next time, but let's talk about the L.A. Lakers and the Thunder. Now, to me, L.A. has been really not been L.A. L.A. was on a seven-game losing streak, and it got snapped when they played the Thunder the other night. And the reason I say that, this losing streak was snapped, but you never know. Even though they won this game, they still have a full season. Plus, they got an all-star break to get ready for. Kobe only scored 21 points. 21 points. Kobe does better than that, and when he does better than that, they win better. So what I say by that is it could have easily went the other way because Kobe is not being the leader that he needs to step up and be at the time. Well, He's getting, Kobe, Kobe has scored a lot of points all season long, and the team has to come together. If one player is scoring 60 points and the rest of the team can't get the shots together, it's not going to even make a difference. I mean, I can score 50 points a game. If I'm not passing the ball, other people aren't getting shots, it's going to be me controlling the whole flow of the offense, and when I'm on the bench, they're just sitting there trying to do something, but it's not going to come together. See, he tried this for years. He's been taking over the game and doing everything himself, but now he's finally realized if they're not going to do anything, it's no point in him trying, so pretty much he's just giving up on the game. But at the same time, he's getting older, and I think this will be the year that Kobe announces his retirement after if they don't make it far in the playoffs because he's getting older, and if he does not stop while he's ahead, he's going to end up like Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille is having trouble to walk because he's been in the game so long and he played past his prime. That's the same thing with Jordan. When Jordan came back in, he wasn't the same with Jordan. So if Kobe decides to leave and come back, it's going to be bad either way he does it. So my thoughts on that, Kobe needs to go ahead and get out of here. Now to our main topic diet. Pro Bowl. Most valuable player was Kevin Rudolph. He came in, he had a good day, and he scored a lot of touchdowns. He played receiver and tight end in this game. So what are your thoughts on this? I mean, the Pro Bowl, um, it's good for Kyle Rudolph to finally take the Pro Bowl seriously. Um, because a lot of players don't take it seriously, like even J.J. Watts, they played him at wide receiver. They think of it as a fun game, and that's the problem now in the league. But he took the game seriously, he got a few catches in, and he did his thing. And he even told the commissioner that um, they should keep the Pro Bowl in. Because they think about knocking out of the league, stopping it completely. Yeah, think about it. In this game, the NFC was unstoppable. And like you said, J.J. Watts, 20 and a half sacks. Can't say that wasn't good. I mean, it's just it was it's just a great overall play for the everything. I think the league should keep the Pro Bowl in. I mean, but you gotta think about it. The one player who made the sound serious was JJ Watt. He led it to the where it needed to be as the player making it seem serious because he even ended up blooding his finger sacking Peyton Manning. You can't tell me this game is a serious how they played. Yeah, they have fun. That's what it's there for, it's the Pro Bowl. So you have your fun, but at the same time, take it serious. You're defending your athletic department. If you're from the NFC, you're defending the NFC. If you're from the AFC, you're defending from the AFC. So what it is is the commissioner wants them to play harder, play better, and make it more serious when they are playing. Next up, let's go to the Super Bowl. I'm going with the Ravens because Ray Lewis hasn't let me down yet. I mean, I told y'all a few weeks back, what did I tell y'all? I said Ray Lewis and the Ravens will be in the Super Bowl against the 49ers. And when they do, the Ravens will beat the 49ers. What's your thoughts? I mean, it's gonna be a very um it's gonna be a very good Super Bowl. You don't have two random teams in there. You have two well developed teams who've been in the playoffs and constantly go to playoffs every single year. So I think it's gonna be a really great game. Ray Lewis is gonna leave on a ring. That's what I'm saying, Ray Lewis, I got him. Ravens taking a win. I mean, I think the 49ers are gonna win. 
they've been an underdog team for a long time. They've developed the team. I think they're really going to come out there and do what they have to do. All right. We had fun today. It was a great day talking about sports. I'm Demetrius. This is T.O. This is T.G. And we'll see you next week on Cougar Nation Network Sports.